Ready. Okay. <laughs> Take it away. It's already rolling. I know. <sighs> All right, well, today we're going to go over how to read your tempo. Start it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, tempo is always indicated with an at symbol at the beginning. Um, it's just an indicator that you're doing the exercise at a certain speed. So the tempo is written out to give you the, basically the pace at which you're going to do each repetition. And you'll always know it's your tempo because there's an at symbol in front of it. And the tempo consists of four separate numbers and potentially a letter, but we'll go over that later. Um, and it's always four separate things. So it's not 20 times one, um, it's two zero X one. So each thing is a separate um, portion of the lift. So the first number is always the down. So if I were gonna do a squat and I had a two down first, if Logan was gonna do a squat, it would be two down first, and then he would get to the bottom of the squat next, and there's zero seconds in the bottom, so he would not pause there. And then the X stands for explode, as it's over here. Um, so the third number is always the up, and then you finally get to the top of the exercise, so you see if you have any rest at the top before you start to go down again. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say about that. Oh, some, so pro tip, some exercises actually do start with the third number, but you're always keeping the order of the tempo in the same order. So um, sometimes you, the first thing you're doing is this portion of the lift and then you'll get to the top. So if you're going to do a deadlift, you're picking something up from the ground. The first thing you're doing is the up but it's always still going to be the third number of the tempo. So then you're at the top and then you would do your two seconds down, no pause, explode up. Um, and then another um, abbreviation that could be in place of the X for like a pull up negative or a push up negative or anything that you would use assistance on the up for to be able to get back to the top to do the down. Um, it would be uh, shown with an A for assisted. So you could either use a box or your body weight or, um, you know, really however you need to get back to the top of that repetition um, to start again. So that is an unloaded portion of the exercise. So we have an example here that you would do, if you're gonna do a pull up negative, you'd start at the top, lower down for five seconds, get back to the top, However, yeah. Yeah. yeah, however you need to on a box, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, what else we got? That's it. I didn't talk this time. No, it was all me. Um, oh, sometimes it will be a number in that third spot. So if that were a squat, it would be down three seconds, no pause, and then up for three seconds, no pause before you go back to the bottom or on the way down. Mm -hmm. So that would, those hurt. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I have no other tempo tips, I don't think. Yeah, adhering to tempo, adhering to tempo just makes it a little bit easier to have consistency from week to week in mm -hmm. programming and in training. So allowing those variables, it's definitely way different to do a five second down squat versus a three second down squat versus a two second down squat. So mm -hmm. using those tempos to your advantage, progressing them from week to week. Yep, and amazing. using it as information to decide what weight is gonna be appropriate to. Um, also, do you want to go over the benefits of tempo? Like why we use tempo? Like what? Like just a couple of them. <laughs> sure. So <laughs> use, use, using tempo um, can easily add time under tension, just like as I was saying for the eccentric, which is that lowering portion, the first bit. So if you have 10 repetition at a 20x1 tempo, that entire tempo comes out to four seconds. So two, two seconds, the x counts for one second, the one is one second. So basic arithmetic, four seconds. So if you were doing 10 reps here, you're doing 40 seconds. If you're doing, let's say, let's pretend that this 50x1, so the a is an x. So same idea, five seconds here, one second, one second gives you seven seconds. So versus 40 seconds of tempo here, and then this one would be 70 seconds of tempo here. Same movement, 
same repetition, but you're able to progress, slow down, feel the movement pattern a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And obviously that's gonna be way more intense, brutal, because the time under tension is mm -hmm. almost double. So one way there. Also for something like a bench press, if you feel uncomfortable and wobbly in a dumbbell bench press, instead of doing a two zero X one where you're rushing through the movement and then kind of exploding up and kind of going to your next one, if you're controlled with a one, two, three the whole time, one, two, three, you're focusing on being steady, making sure that the weight stays in control mm -hmm. and being able to not flop around everywhere. Yes. And then with X- Building the, the movement pattern. Building the movement pattern, but very much for their control. Mm -hmm. X is really good for someone who's trying to be explosive and in sport. So mm -hmm. the intent of being as powerful as possible, um, as long as the intent is there, then that's important for building up strength and speed or mm -hmm. speed strength. But that's yep. generally the only reason. It's good for your joints. Also progression, that's more of our side. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to start one week with two zero X one and by the sixth week of doing it, you're doing seven zero whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's easy to progress and give you more time under tension without changing the repetition or without changing the load. Yep. Cool. Hope this was helpful. Yes. Anything else? No. All right. Give us some comments if you have questions. Yes. All right. Bye, everybody.